What is up you guys? It's me Trevor back again with another video and in today's video we are going to be doing a review of uh, Fashion Nova actually which kind of surprised me because I never really thought I would be doing a review of Fashion Nova. I've never really been interested in it but please sent me oh my god this big ass box right here. Uh, I believe there's 11 items total. They said between like 10 and 15, so I picked 15. They shipped me 11 because some of them weren't in stock, I guess, when they went to go ship them out. So uh, they did send me 11 different items, 11 or 12, something like that, um, that I'm gonna review for you guys today. And they're actually pretty decent quality, just off the hop. I'll say like, I didn't think they were gonna be the, the highest of quality. Obviously, Fashion Nova's kind of been known for a little bit lower end quality, but um, they actually seem pretty good quality, so uh, I guess let's uh, jump into the review. Actually, just before we start, I wanna say, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit congested right now. I am kind of sick, and I just woke up about half hour, 45 minutes ago, so uh, my hair is not even done. Looks pretty cool, right? So I want to apologize for that in advance, but Let's get on with the first item, which is this black denim jacket. I probably should have buttoned it up before opening it, but um, it does have slight distressing on it. I got it in a size large just so it fit uh, slightly oversized. It's still kind of fitted, but it does fit a little bit big. Um, like I said, there is distressing on the front here on both sides of the front. They have this gold accent button style all throughout the jacket, which is extremely nice. The only thing I really, really don't like about this jacket, which might kind of stray me away from wearing it, um, is on both arms, you probably won't be able to see it, I don't know. But there's elbow blowouts, which I thought was kind of weird. I didn't see it when I was ordering it. But they do have these massive like elbow blowouts on both sides. So uh, it does look like it's manufactured to look that way, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'll put my hand through it here. Really, really big elbow blowouts, which I really don't like. I'm still gonna take some pictures and stuff in it, but as like a regular denim jacket I'm not sure if I'll get a lot of wear out of it um, just for that reason But quality wise it does feel pretty good. It's pretty light and it does have some stretch to it, which is awesome um, I love all my denim pieces to have stretch just so they don't feel super, you know, heavy and thick on you But yeah, really nice quality. Um, it is priced at $39.99 so a little bit steep of pricing, but I think the style is there I mean obviously minus the bloats and the quality is definitely there too. There's no like loose threads anywhere. Well, there's actually a few loose threads. I lied. Overall, pretty good for a $40 jacket. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next item. Alrighty, so the next item here um, is these black uh, zipper style joggers. I got a very, very identical pair from uh, DSRCV a couple months ago. Uh, as you see, they have the zipper at the ankle. Um, the DSRCV ones fit me pretty tight down to the calf, which is why I wanted another pair and as I'm filming this I realized they sent me a medium when I asked for a small which is why they fit so big on me I was gonna say they do fit big in the waist typically a 30 waist these fit like a 31 32 it is still a really good taper but the waist is where a lot of that kind of looseness is because I have a pretty small waist they do have these extended cream uh, draw cords at the waistband there pockets on both sides they have back pockets and uh, a lot of their pants actually have this little clip buckle thing I'm not sure if it's for a chain or what it would be for but um, I also apologize some of these items might be kind of wrinkly and stuff I literally just piled them back into the box yeah overall again pretty good quality they do have a tiny bit of stretch to them um, they are 98% cotton 2% spandex so you do get some um, more comfortability with the, the stretch in them uh, overall pretty good quality um, again small would have fit me better but you guys will see in the trial they still do fit me pretty well but I would have liked them to be a little bit more tightly tapered, but overall, pretty good pair of pants. Alrighty, for the third item, we got a blue denim. Uh, I've been looking for like a blue sort of vintage wash denim for quite some time now. These still aren't the exact style wash I want, but I'm definitely gonna wear these a lot throughout uh, the spring and summer here. Uh, they do have some slight distressing down at the ankle. You won't be able to see it, but it's just kind of starting to fray there, which is kind of nice. There's a little bit on the pocket here. Um, got these in a size, I don't know, 30, and they are a skinny fit. Uh, the waistband fits me pretty well, almost perfect. Uh, has a pretty decent taper down to the ankle. Could be a little bit tighter for me, but I have pretty skinny legs, so it's hard to find pants with a good taper. Um, they do have some stretch to them. Again, they have that 2% spandex, so you get a little bit more comfortability. And overall, pretty nice pair of pants. No distressing through the leg here. They do have that vintage wash sort of look um, at the knee there and then they do have like, I don't know, pilling, is that called pilling or something like piling? 
I have no idea what that's called, but like, you know, those stripes going across the thigh there. Um, looks really nice. Overall, pretty good uh, wash of denim for $37.99. So 40 bucks, about the same price of H&M. Um, yeah, and you get about the same quality. I would say they're very similar to H&M quality, but they do have a little bit better taper. And I think the wash is a little bit nicer than H&M's typical wash. Alrighty, so next up, uh, one of my favorite pieces I got actually. I've actually already worn it because I've had this package sitting in my freaking bedroom for like, I don't know, five days now, four days. Um, it's the Metallica hoodie. As you see, it says Metallica on the front there, obviously. Um, you have the logo and then down one of the arms. Here it is. I don't even know what it says. In vertigo, you will be down the sleeve. So it has like a very rustic look to it, rustic feel to it. And then on the back, this logo was seen on a lot of different uh, pieces throughout, I would say like 2017. Um, a lot of t-shirts and stuff like that. On the back here it says, uh, this shortest straw has been pulled for you with this big kind of skull eyeball logo thing. Really like this sweater. I thought it was printed on Gildan, but I don't actually think it is. It's, it's hard to say because Gildan, a large usually fits me pretty small. So I got an XL on this and it fits me like a 2XL would in a Gildan hoodie. So I don't know if it's actually Gildan, but it does have the tie draw strings and stuff like that, like Gildan typically would. Feel is very similar to Gildan as well, but it is a little bit oversized, which is awesome. Fits me pretty damn big. And the only thing I don't like is that it's so thin and this bottom kind of like rolls up and stuff like that because it's so thin. Um, but overall, I love the design of it. It's extremely comfortable. It has um, like that cottony fleece in the inside. Probably my favorite piece that I've got or one of my favorite pieces that I've got. I actually have a t-shirt with me, but I don't have it here. So or after this clip of this hoodie, I'll throw it in so you guys can see that as well. But yeah, overall has a really, really nice fit to it. I could have got a large and it still would have been oversized. XL just makes it look that much bigger, which is, I guess, good or bad, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I'll show you guys the t-shirt. I'm gonna throw that clip in right now because I got the same t-shirt as this, but I actually don't have it with me right now. So I will throw that clip in right now. Okay, so I'm filming this part a couple days later. Actually, it's been like a week and a half, I'm not gonna lie, since I filmed the last bit. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of the shirt here. My battery is low, so I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible. And also, once I'm done filming this, I'm just gonna do the quick on-body shots behind me, so the background will be a different scene than the other one. And I'm also running out of daylight, so I'm gonna do this as quick as possible. So here is the t-shirt. It has the exact same design as the hoodie. I'll take a step back so you can see it. Uh, it's the exact same design as the hoodie, uh, minus the text down the sleeve, because this is obviously a short sleeve. Uh, I did get in an XL, so it's quite big on me, to be completely honest. It's 100% cotton, so it's quite an average feeling uh, t-shirt. It does feel, I don't want to say thick, but it feels slightly thicker than like a regular tee you would find at like H&M. The build quality isn't too bad. There's no loose threads or anything. Um, as you can see here on the tag, it does say Metallica right there. Um, yeah, so I got an XL. It's definitely boxy. You won't be able to tell until I show you the on body shots, but it's quite boxy. It's honestly just too big for me. It just looks way too big um, when it comes to a t-shirt. So I am going to end up giving this to one of my buddies, but pretty basic design. Uh, I'm a fan of it. It is also enlarged on the t-shirt. Um, it's quite a bit bigger. The front and back design is quite a bit bigger than on the hoodie. Yeah, it's, it's quite a basic Metallica design. But I really do like it. Again, just way, way too big on me. I'm wearing it with this t-shirt right here, just a Fear of God uh, extended t-shirt. And it's just way too big on me. So that is the Metallica t-shirt. And let's go back in time and finish up the rest of the review. Alrighty, so next up we have, again, probably one of my favorite pieces that I got from this entire haul. It is kind of this like black and gray. I'll fluff on my face, like gradient cardigan sort of thing. Uh, it's extremely nice, it's very thick, uh, feels very comfortable. It's hard to kind of see what I'm holding here, but just kind of like a regular cardigan, I guess. It doesn't have buttons or anything on the front, which is fine by me, I don't. I wouldn't button it up anyways. As you can see on the sleeve, it does have that, that sort of gradient as well. The whole body has the gradient. The only thing I don't like is that it does have a hood. I wish it would have just rather had like, you know, a regular collar. Um, got it in a size XL, it does fit a little bit big. And uh, this one actually really reminds me of the one that Justin Bieber wore. I think it was for one of his concerts. I'll throw up a picture of it. But it looks very similar to that style. So I might make a video of like an outfit inspiration, um, including this in that video as well. They do have two pockets on the front here, just like a bucket pocket, I guess. 
Um, and yeah, I got it in a size XL, so it fits a little bit oversized. Extremely happy with this, and this, again, might be my favorite piece next to the Metallica hoodie, but uh, let's move on to the next piece. So here we have another, this one's really wrinkly, I apologize. Uh, another denim jacket. Um, this one I actually, I'm kind of torn on. I like the style of it, but I don't. I don't like the wash of it. The wash is too blue. Looks like an acid wash almost. Um, it's too blue for my liking. The distressing is decent. There's not really much up the chest, but around like the collar, there's a ton of distressing, which is okay. It's not a bad thing. Um, and then again on the elbows, they do have this elbow thing again. I don't know why they keep doing this. Slight distressing on the elbows. This one isn't as bad because it's more of like very minimal distressing, but it's not like big blowout. Still not my favorite design. And then on the back, I thought this was kind of weird, but where the tag is, there's like a big dark blue, like where the bleach or something didn't actually wash out that blue colored denim. So not a fan of that. This one, I do like the actual jacket though. Um, it has like these silver accents for like all the buttons and stuff like that. So. That looks really nice. Again, it feels like the last one does have some stretch to it. I got it in a large, so it fits slightly oversized. It does feel pretty thick as well, which is good too. Um, you know, you're getting, you know, like a good quality jacket. And overall, yeah, I would really like it if it had like, I guess like a lighter blue wash. I have freaking fluff on my face, man. I would like it if it had, I guess more of like a white wash to it, not really like an acidy wash or like maybe like a light blue. But as you can see, there's like stripes and stuff going down. It looks kind of weird, but kind of 50-50 on it. I'm not sure how much I'll wear it, but it still is a really nice piece to throw on for sure. Alrighty, next up we have these guys. These ones are actually really wrinkly, I apologize for that, but it's kind of like this track pant style pant, which it actually isn't like a track pant style pant. What am I saying? It has that style of a track pant, but the material is not. It does have extended draw cords in this cream color, black with the red stripes on the inside and outside, which I thought was uh, kind of cool. I've never had a pair of pants that has that uh, stripe on the inside. Uh, these ones fit me really well because they are actually my size. They are size small, so they fit me perfect. Um, and then they do have zippers down at the bottom of the ankle. And yeah, that's pretty much it for these. There's not really too much to say. I don't really like the pockets on them. They have Velcro, which is kind of tacky in my opinion, kind of cheap feeling. Honestly, this whole back pocket pouch thing is kind of weird in my opinion. But again, it's almost like, I don't even know what kind of material this is. It's sort of like a light denim, but it's not. I've had pants like this before, but I don't know, man. I, I feel like track pants should just stay as the track pant material and not really, you know, move away from that. But it feels like a light denim almost. The feel of them isn't too bad. They do have some stretch to them, which is great. Uh, they are comfortable, that's for sure. But overall, I don't like the actual material of the pant. I don't like how it's like a light denim with a stretch sort of thing. Like I would just rather have it be like that athletic, like track pant style rather than, which I thought it was, rather than this denim. I thought it was that track pant style, but whatever. It's all good, I'll still wear them. Taper is extremely nice on them down to the ankle. I am a size 29, 30 waist, so a small fits me just perfect. And yeah, that is uh, the black and red track pant. All right, I didn't even order these. I'm not sure why they sent me these, but uh, they are a size large, so uh, you know, they're gonna not fit me. Um, they are this bright fluorescent orange, which again, not gonna wear. They do have an ankle cuff, which is fine on sweats, I guess. And yeah, I didn't even order these, so we're not gonna talk about them. Not gonna link them down below. Uh, we're just gonna skip over those guys and move on to the next, which is these guys right here. Uh, this black pair of denim. Uh, these are a size 30, which I think I ordered a 30 because I think that's their smallest size. They are worth how many dollars? $37.99. They're like a black wash, sort of like a vintage. They have a bit of like that gray sort of tone through them. Black or gray button on the front. They do have some stretch, which is good, but the taper on me does not work. It is too baggy down at the ankle. Maybe I'll wear them for work or something like that, but taper is just too baggy in my opinion. <clears throat> when it comes to jeans, I like them being very tapered and tight. I'll, I'll still wear them though. There's still a black pair of denim. I need a new one, a new pair of denim. Just a regular black pair of denim, no distressing. The only thing that's kind of unique is that sort of like light wash throughout like the thigh and the knee and stuff like that but got them in a 30 the waist fits me good yeah that's really all i can say the taper is a little bit baggy which i don't like but again i don't know what i'm going with this that's just a regular black pair of denim they're, they're all right they're decent i guess okay we have looks like two more pieces left so we got this one right here this is just a navy blue pullover hoodie um this one is a size where is it i think it's an xl there's actually not even a tag here but i think it's an xl um there's no drop shoulder i well maybe there's a drop shoulder it looks like there might be yeah there's probably a bit of a drop shoulder to it 
So it fits oversized. It'll be really good for layering and stuff like that, actually, especially with like gray shirts like this. It'll look really nice. I've never actually owned a navy hoodie, which is surprising, but I really like this one. Fits me well, that's for sure. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'll say. It's boxy, it's oversized, which I like. Got a kangaroo pouch, and yeah, that's about it. Feels pretty thick, feels very soft on the inside as well. Pretty much any new hoodie has a very soft fleecy feel. Yeah, that's just a regular blue navy hoodie. Let's move on to the last item, which is, I don't even know how these fit. They are a black pair of denim. Again, why did I order two pair? I feel like I didn't even order two pairs of black denim. Maybe I did. Uh, this black pair of denim, uh, this one does look like it has a better taper. I think this one does fit me a little bit better. Um, again, got it in a size 30, so the waist fits me perfect. Uh, has the back pockets on both sides. No zippers on either of the black denim. I don't know if I mentioned that in the other pair, but none of them have uh, the zippers. It does have some stretch to it, as you can see. It sort of has like this, it's not really like a worn wash. It's like a lighter wash sort of thing going through with the leg there. It's hard to explain. Again, really not much to say. Black pair of denim, you'll see how it fits on body in the overlay clips, which I think is pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's the last item from the haul. That's a wrap besides the t-shirt that I was missing. You guys would have seen it already uh, if you watched to this point. So yeah, that is all the items that I got from Fashion Nova, quite a bit of items. Again, I don't know why they sent me these. I did not ask her, I would not wear those. I'm not gonna lie, I'd never wear those. They're a size large too, so. Again, all the items will be listed down below in the description if you guys wanna go check uh, any of these specific items out. I'll leave them kind of in order as to what I reviewed them. I will have also my Instagram linked in the description as well. If you guys wanna go follow me on there, I post a lot of like streetwear style. You get to see more of like the style that I wear on a regular basis rather than just like you know the tops and stuff that I wear in videos so that will be linked in the top of the description if you guys want to go check my Instagram out and yeah if you made it this far leave a like if you enjoyed it uh, let me know if you've tried any of the items from Fashion Nova and what are your thoughts on it um, there were actually I think there was four pieces there's two cardigans which I was hoping that I would get which I didn't get uh, had a boxy tee and like this kind of like I guess like a plaid like Sherpa jacket sort of thing that I didn't get. Yeah, I didn't get those four items. I was actually really excited for the cardigans. I was stoked for those, but I guess they didn't have them when uh, I ordered them or whatever. So you win some, you lose some, that's fine. Not a big deal, but I really wish I would have reviewed them for you guys because they looked like they were actually really good quality and they fit really well as well. So um, unfortunately I don't have those. But for all the items I did have, I will have them linked in the description for you guys to go check out. If you are new around here and you enjoyed today's video or any of the items that you saw, click that subscribe button, stick around. I'm trying to post a little bit more as it warms up. I wanna get a lot more like outfit inspiration videos and that sort of thing. Plan to do more of those kind of upcoming towards like the summer and like the warmer weather which should be good. Again, thank you to Fashion Nova for sending out these items for me to review. Uh, I will also have Fashion Nova linked in the description as well if you guys wanna go check them out as well. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.